Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Alex, and welcome to the rodeo. We're back it again, and do I have a special guest in the building? Okay. The one, the only, Guapo the Don. Guapo the Don, your bitch on my arm. New lit records, look good, feel good, smell good. Get to the fucking bag. Let's go. Yes, sir. How you doing today, man? Appreciate the love. Shout out. Welcome to the rodeo. We here right now. We about yeah. to turn this bitch up. Let's go. Yeah, man. Is this your first interview, or have you done? This my first interview ever. I'm highly grateful, highly appreciative. Welcome How to you the feeling? radio, bringing me to the house right now. I'm feeling very positive, very optimistic. We about to turn this bitch upside down. Yes, sir. Shout out everybody from Brooklyn. You know, I'm all, I'm all the way from New York City, Brooklyn, New York to be exact. You feel me? I come from Four Green Projects, but we out here in Dallas, Texas. We about to show y'all a different point of view, a different style. Exactly. And show y'all how we coming, how we coming all 2020. Shout out Screw Harbor. We about to turn this bitch upside down. Let's get it. I love the energy, man. I love the energy. Yes, sir. So pretty much, let's get straight to it. Um, you know, how was how was it growing up in, in uh, New York, in Brooklyn? I'm telling you. How was the uh, upbringing? Coming coming from New York, you're going to always hear about the notorious B.I.G. You're going to hear, okay. you gonna always hear about Jay-Z. You feel me? We come from a hard knock life. But, you know, it's all about being a better person. You know, I, I always tell people it's not about um, um, what you do. It's about how you react to it. You feel mm. me? Or it's not about how you live. It's just about... Um, overcoming your trials and tribulations. So coming okay. coming from where I come from, for the most yeah. part, it's a lot of tough times because, you know, we're not really given the same opportunity as the people from different parts of the world, mm. you know? So we come more from a poverty-stricken time frame where it's a lot of crack, Dang. drug dealers, drug abusers, you feel me, gang members, and a whole lot of gang affiliation. But going forward, I really look at myself as trying to be an artist that's going towards being more positive and trying to be a more mm. optimistic role model for the people coming out of my neighborhood like you feel me so that's the direction like that. that i'm going now that's what's up man so you talked about you know the upbringing it was a little rough um you're from brooklyn correct yes okay got you and at one point at what point did you actually you know you know were raised in brooklyn and then moved to dallas so I actually had to come out know. here when i was about 16 years old oh, my so mom's my, my stepdad um, had, his his sister had originally lived out here in Texas, and then okay. my and then my stepdad had moved out here. My mom, she's Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto mm. Rican as well. Rest in peace to my mom. She had recently rest passed peace, this yeah. month, and rest in rest peace, peace to my grandmother. She recently passed this month, and rest in peace to everybody that's passing this 2020. 2020 has been a really tough year for a lot of people, yeah. and it's just really tough. And I know King Von just passed yesterday. Dang. Rest in peace to King Von. Rest in peace to all the fallen soldiers out there. That's and true. I just want to say, you know. Always stay positive and optimistic because life is short. Life exactly. is short and, and, and don't take life for granted, you know. But um, for the most part, I would say just just trying to overcome the things that's that's really yeah. been been bothering me over this time frame. I'm just trying to move forward and get, get back towards the right direction. Damn, that's, that's, that's crazy, man. Yeah. So grandma passed. Yeah. Mom passed. That's crazy. That's a lot on a yeah. man. But it sounds like you're still, yeah. you know, a warrior. You mm -hmm. keep going. You you yeah. keep going. Things like that could easily bring you down. Things like that could easily uh you kn knock you off your peace. Mm -hmm. I, I should say. Yeah. But you know what really, you know, inspires you to to keep going like that. I think really really what motivate me is always being able to give back to people and being able to help my family overcome the mm -hmm. the trials and tribulations that I once faced. You feel me? Because oh, we wow. all come from those dark times, but it's all about seeing the light. So I feel like a lot of the times. Um, I just want to be able to uplift people and give yeah. back. It's all about giving back because I know what it's like to not have, and That's I want to be able to bless people and show people that you could you could develop a a, a God's given gift if you believe in yourself and you mm -hmm. manifest your heart desires. You just have to believe in yourself, and I want to motivate people and give back. That's I like that. Goal. I like that. So uh, you know, we'll switch it up a little bit. How did you get the name Guapo the Don? Guapo the Don. I got the name Guapo the Don because my mom's always used to be like, "Oh, you think you so Guapo? You think you so fly?" I'd be like, "Nah, moms, I don't think I'm so fly. I don't think I'm none of that." But then she was like, "Yo, Gu you know, you you think you so Guapo?" So that's how I got the name Guapo. Guapo. So and just the Don, I just you know, I'm a, I'm my own in, in my own point of view. I'm like the point guard. I'm a shooter. So you know, okay. a Don means a shooter. You feel me? It's somebody who somebody who gonna make shit happen. Somebody who yeah. gonna make plays. So. That's why I call myself Guapo the Don. You feel me? Okay. So that way I'm a, I'm able to I'm able to utilize you know my different styles. I'm a shooter. I make things happen. I'm a point guard. That's you know? crazy. So right. now Guapo, you know that carries a lot of weight as well. Now and that it means getting money too, of course, yeah, more or less. Yeah. <laughs> and in the Spanish form, it means handsome, but you know also it means getting wow. money. So I'm getting to the back. Yes, That's my slogan. Look good, feel good, smell good. Get to the back. 
Okay, I like that. I like that. That's what's up, man. So when did you actually start taking the music serious? Like there's there's usually, you know, Yo. situations you're growing up, you're just rapping with the homies and stuff like that. Yo, to be but, honest, the first time I really started taking music serious, I was probably like 14 or 15 years old. It was when the song came out. Young? All I Want Is You by Miguel and J. Cole. Okay. They were saying, all I want is you. That's that song. So I had made a freestyle reiteration to it. And I and I really started getting into rap. And I also started liking Wiz Khalifa at that time. Wiz, Wiz Khalifa yeah. had just came out. And he was all about the getting high and turning up and shit. So Taylor Gang, everybody had the shirt. Everybody Wiz Khalifa, had the, the Converse and, and everything. Vibe. So yeah. it, was definitely, it was definitely a lit scene. It was definitely a nice vibe. I feel but that. Overall, those, those were the times. It was probably when I was like 14, 15, around that That's time dope. frame. I'm 26 now. That's yeah. dope. So you've been doing this. You you could say you you're doing this for a while. It's yeah, not like you're doing somebody this for like a strong twelve years now. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. It's not somebody that just you know quarantine happened and said I yeah, want to nah, rap nah, now. Nah, nah, nah. I'm taking been, this serious yeah, yeah, for sure. I've been taking this serious. That's facts. what's up, man. Um, how was it whenever you started rapping? Did it take a while for for your friends and family to get behind it, or was it you know from the start? You know, I right, we fucked Yo, with it. Yo, for the, let me get this off the camera right quick. So I want to save some battery. But for <laughs> the most part. My moms and my family, they always super duper supportive. You feel 100%. me? I come from, like I said, I come from Fort Greene, Brooklyn. It's it's a lot of hard times and it's a mm -hmm. stricken community, but we come from love and it's all about La Familia. It's all about sticking together. Mm -hmm. Being from, being Puerto Rican and having those roots, you got to yeah. be able to stand together and stick with your people. So my family always been that type of way where we, where we always real family orientated. So that's the way we are. You know, it's always. So that's where that foundation came facts, from and kept facts, going with it. Facts. I like that. I like that. That's what's up. So pretty much, you know, I like to showcase the people, the song as well. You mm -hmm. know, whenever I started my podcast, it was just like, you know, these these people sound real cool, but yeah. I've never heard their music. Yeah. So I want to showcase the music. Uh, you actually sent me this beat. Yeah. I'm not going to go in right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm about to turn sure. this bitch Let up Let us right know now. a little bit about that. Present the, the Yo, what you want to do. Hold on, let me, and we get right, straight to it. right now. Yo, shout out. So the producer of this beat is yeah. my boy Taliban Mari. Shout out Yale's Fever. You feel me? He another artist out of Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn. And shout out Fabio Foreign. That's my cousin. You feel me? He Ooh. out of Brooklyn, New York. He dropped that song, Big Drip. Go tune into yes, it. Sir. Super duper lit. You feel me? But this like a drill type of beat. You feel me? I told my producer, Taliban Mari, whip it up for me. So I'm about to drop y'all some fire shit right quick. It's unreleased, exclusive. Y'all probably going to hear yes, this sir. as my next single with an exclusive video dropping. So stay tuned for that. Facts. Let's get it. Let's Guapo go. the Don. Guapo the Don. Your bitch on my arm. New lip records. Look good. Feel good. Smell good. Get to the fucking back. Hey, bow, bow. Hey, I just go in. Yeah. Hey, drilling. Hey, what a wonderful feeling. Bow, drumming, dumping. Shots at the barrel, busting. My name ringing bells, percussion. I'm the one who turning on to something. They running and running and running. It's a whole lot of forest gumping. We trapped at the spot, hustling. Count up bands and grams. All of these hundreds can't fit in my pants. If I ever go broke, I'ma go make a plan. Hey, unfortunately, I just got an advance. Cashing out when I don't like the finance. Always gonna win in any circumstance. I risk my life to get the Benjamins. I just need the money, I don't want no friends. Fashion designer, I feel fresh to death. Run up some kind of Cause I like a check You hey. can't be broke and still try to flex I remember times they try to forget All of these diamonds on me Clear, HD water, ice and marine Cold, blizzard, shiver Dropping up the positive, watch the bank getting bigger Numbers going up like the lottery Looking up the God saying this guy gotta be Manifest the dreams and I know more I was proud of me Can never forgive all the people who doubted me Look at myself and I know I'm a prodigy Stuck to the cold like it was a philosophy Touching my spirit, I'm a star like astrology Holding my dreams Coming true like a prophecy yeah. Drilling, Hey, what a wonderful feeling Bow, whoa Drumming, dumping, shots at the barrel, busting. My name ringing bells, percussion. I'm the one who turned on to something. They running and running and running. It's a whole lot of forest gumping. We tried at the spot, hustling. Counting up bands and grams. All of these hundreds can't fit in my pants. Drilling, what a wonderful feeling. Drumming. Hey, shots at the barrel, busting. My name ringing bells, percussion. Grab all the dime, your bitch on my arm, my killer with charm. Hey. Diamonds on ice hockey. She let it down, but she said that I'm cocky. She rubbed my wood, but she calling me poppy. I'm not untouchable. Nobody can stop me. Hey, you know the logic. Count up profit. I get the money. You know that it's brolic. All of these bitches know that I'm the topic. I'm counting up, and you know I make the posits. Hey, shout out Screw Hobby. You know that we lit. I kept the bands and my money legit. These bitches, they busting it up, and she stripped. All of this money on me it got me high. Hot in the sky. She busted open. I rub on her thighs. Whew. Bitch, you already know that I stay hot on my mind. Hey. hey. And I'm on a whole nother wave. Yeah. They try to copy the wave. 
That's crazy, Gang shit, no man. lame shit. New Lit Records, Guabo the Dine, your bitch on my arm. You know the fucking vibe. Let's go. That's crazy, man. You know, a little That's sunset. dope, man. Appreciate it, appreciate okay. it, you know. Lots of, lots of people don't have that confidence appreciate like that, that bro. bro. Thank you, thank you. You that know, I'm dope. trying to come out this bitch strong. Let y'all know we coming out strong all 2020, all 2021. Stay focused, stay positive, stay optimistic. New Lit Records, look good, feel good, smell good. Get to the fucking back. Stay tuned hey. for this new track coming, drilling. Dumping whatever you want to call it, this shit about to be a movie, y'all. I'm telling y'all. That's dope, man. That's what's up. So pretty much, you know, this is pretty much the next single that you're gonna they're gonna push, right? Yes, sir. Man, that's dope, man. It's freaking yeah. crazy, crazy drill, like UK vibe, right? Yeah. Okay. UK drill vibe. Uh, can you explain to me a little bit about your sound? How would you classify your sound, or so, do you have your your sound? Per, um, personally, I I feel like I'm more like a, I have my own sound, but you know, right. I have that Brooklyn. I would say Brooklyn influence. I like the weekend. I like Lil Uzi Vert. I got that same kind of Candace okay. as Lil Uzi and some type of other artists. But more or less, I got more influenced by artists like J. Cole, Jay Z, B.I.G. Wow. I like Drizzy Drake, but you know. Yeah. So you your got, roots are, you know. I don't back. have no ghostwriters, y'all. <laughs> this I'm straight you. Y'all. Yeah, it's all me, y'all. That's what's up, man. Facts. So the roots are still Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York. But you vibe. still see, you know, the art. Yeah, of music, and, and, like and, you, said, the and, and for the most part, the UK got a lot of the drill shit or the or the drill type of sound that's coming out of Brooklyn from New York. You yeah. feel me? Because Chicago had their own type of drill sound when they had Chief Keef in them. Yeah. They was making that, you know, bang bang. Shot rack. Yeah, you feel me? But when more or less when when Brooklyn came out with their drill type of sound, it was more the Fabio uh, Fabio foreign kind of drill, yeah. and he got his sound from the Brooklyn type of vibes, mm. and then. The UK people was influenced by Fabio Foreign, you feel me? And right. where they came from. So and he come from Brooklyn. That's so dope, that, man. That's the I mean, it's crazy how that's New how York is, is back, you know, right. pretty much doing their own thing mm -hmm. because, you know, you could disagree with this, of course, you know, but for a little minute, it, it seemed like they were just like, you know, just stand still. Like, yeah. you know, artists will try to push, but they didn't get the same reception. But now it's like you saw, you know, of course, you saw ASAP, you saw freaking Pop Smoke, freaking captivated the whole rest world in peace, pop rest in peace and now lots of lots of new york artists yeah. what do you think is, is different now from um you know you would say like the 2010s or you know when when new york music wasn't as popping but now it's like you know you leading know, the way type shit i'm not gonna even i don't even want to bring up the rap but i gotta bring him up because you talk about new york but you know it's oh Tekashi yeah, yeah. Six nine, he is super duper rap. <laughs> i'm from brooklyn I don't really fuck with the kid, but you yeah. know, he went ahead and did what he did. He from out there in Bushwick. Bushwick is not too far from where I'm from. Oh, That's wow. from um, Fort Green. Fort yeah. Green is right there on the same block as Myrtle Avenue, same block as uh, Marcy Project. Everything's That's so close then. Jay-Z from that. Takashi 69 is from Bushwick, but it's all on that same strip mm. line. You feel me? Yeah. We don't fuck with the rats. But, 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 but besides 69, you feel me? I feel like a lot of artists that come out of New York, they type of style and they type of flow is the ones that's gonna be the ones that everybody else copy and bite off of. Mm. You feel me? Those are the ones that people gonna follow and those are the ones people from New York are the most influential, you feel me? Yeah. Even artists like Six Nine, unfortunately. You feel yeah. me? <laughs> I get I forgot, I totally forgot about him honestly you and, until you brought it up. But it's crazy how New York is so close to all the, the hoods and stuff like that. Is there lots of tension in New York? Or is it I, I everybody like, gets along type shit? You know, but I feel like, you know, a lot of people probably are getting misconstrued about gangs and stuff like mm. that. But for the most part, it's a lot of bloods that fuck with Crips. That's what the okay. Wolves are. You feel me? Yeah. That's what Pop Smoke used to represent. The Wolves is like Crips and bloods that fuck with each other. But yeah. they just cool. So they not on no gang affiliation shit. And then there's folks and all types of other gang members. You mm. feel me? But at the same time, I feel like in the city, the artists that's coming up that's super lit. Little TJ. Yeah, Little TJ. You feel TJ. me? It's an artist called Stunner Gambino. He's okay. super duper lit, you feel me? Um, Fabio Foreman, he lit. And yeah. it's gonna, uh, I would say a few other artists, yeah. you know, but for the most part, the artists that's really making noise, I would say is Little TJ and Fabio, like yeah. coming out of New York. And everybody gets down. along, it's not, it's not and no it's hate not shit. And it's not no beef, no, no beef type shit, besides Pop Smoke dying, which I don't yeah. know what happened. It was in Cali, something you know, it different, was Cali something, shit, but yeah. yeah. I get you, I get you. That's what's up, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good to see that because I feel like that that could also bring down the city, not just New York, just in general. We mm -hmm. see that here a little bit in Dallas, you know, a little hate shit here and there, mm -hmm. which, you know, if we see the the model from Atlanta mm -hmm. where they all get along, they all make yeah, tracks yeah. back to back to back. Yeah. Every, everybody puts themselves on um, and don't hate with each other. Like, it just 
makes the city prosper mm, type exactly. shit. Exactly. Um, what What do you think is different from the Dallas scene and the New York scene? I feel like music wise, I should say. I feel like the exposure, more or less, is because coming from out here in the Dallas scene, it's not really as that same yeah. stricken, poverty stricken street vibe or street mm. mentality demeanor that the New York perception yeah. brings you feel me so when okay. you think about new york city or you think about brooklyn new york you think about the slums or you think about the hood you think about some lit shit okay. but when you talk about dallas you think about some yellow beezy or some trap yeah. boy freddie and yeah. they don't really i'm not gonna say they don't represent the hood but they don't really represent that same type of visual as when you think mm. about people from brooklyn new york like pop smoke who really out there or, or the diplomats, people like Jim Jones, Cameron, who out there really in the hood, chilling with people, you feel me? It's probably artists that's out there in Houston or different parts of the world, but not yeah. really in Dallas, you feel me? That I got know. you, got yeah. you. Okay, I like that re difference right there. Yeah. Um. So let's talk a little bit about the EP you just mm -hmm. dropped, Fact. which was Angels in the Trap, yeah. correct? Yeah. Talk to me a, bit, a little bit about that project, how it came about, the whole concept behind it. So Angels in the Trap, you feel me? I feel like more or less, I'm I'm a real positive person, so I feel like I'm an angel yeah. in the light. But also, a lot of the times, you feel me, you got two different sides. You got the light and you got the dark. So I feel exactly. like when I'm on my dark shit, I'm going to be trapping, working hard, busting my ass. But when I'm on my light shit, you feel me, I'm going to be helping people, motivating people, and being yeah. positive and optimistic. So Angels in the Trap was really just a different perspective on how to view um, yourself. And it, 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 it's really to uplift people and build people up. So if you listen to the song, I got a dope song on the song uh, on the album. It's called Angels in a Trap Intro. Mm -hmm. Check it out. It's super duper lit. I got a song called Ruthless. That's super duper lit. And all of the songs I wrote myself, and they all produced by Tyler Ben Mari. Shout out my producer Tyler Ben Mari. All exclusively made beats, all written, and they all fire. Check me out on Spotify, Guapo the Don. You Check can find me it out everywhere on Instagram at BK Guapo the Don or streaming platforms. Just type in Guapo the Don. You feel me? What would What would you say was your favorite track from the project? I have mine. I was, Can I tell you mine? What's yours? I, I would say uh, Body Bag was Body Bag. Yeah, yeah that shit was fire. Now, I like Body Bag. Body I, I, Bag was lit. from the what you were talking about in the song. Yeah. I could I could tell like you know this wasn't just like you heard the beat and spit whatever yeah you put a little you know time and, and yeah, I had, effort. exactly I had to go ahead and put my all into it yeah and some different tracks you are gonna be able to catch a, a different type of vibe off of you can sit there and freestyle on and some type mm -hmm. of tracks you are gonna be able to sit down and write some deep shit to yeah you know, get more in touch with it exactly. and that's what I kind of liked enjoying about making this album was I was able to utilize all different patterns so even if you listen to the songs like um know how it feels or the I. I I think I I did put out know how it feels on this on this Angels in the Trap album, you feel me? But nah, I didn't. You feel me? Put on that, but I did put that Playboy. Playboy was one of my Playboy, number one yeah. fame boy, uh, number one favorites that I did put on that whole too. Because, that was dope, yeah. You feel me? I had got the Playboy. Oh on my shit! Kids, you feel me? You real? They, you real? For real? They call me Playboy. This shit. They call me Playboy because they know I'm pipping. You feel <laughs> me? But don't tell nobody. You feel me? I know this interview gonna go viral, but please don't tell nobody. <laughs> Got me? the whole tat and everything, Let's go. Man. Let's go. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, and but, from all of them, Playboy was your favorite? Or yeah, what? Playboy was like, Playboy was one of my favorites out, out of all of them, I would say. But no cap, I did like that Activated because my little sister helped me, wrote, yeah. helped me write that song Activated. Like the beginning of it, it was oh, kind of wow. like a different type of melodic sound or a different type of melody, so I really enjoyed making it too. That's dope, man. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. So with everything happening, you know, with the world and 2020 in general, how's 2020 been for you? 2020 been fucked up, y'all. I lost my moms. I lost my grandmoms. You feel me? I lost a few jobs. I made a few money. I I, I lost a few money, but at the same time, it's all mm. about growing, staying positive, staying optimistic. And I think that 2020 showed people that life could be tough and life could be ruthless, but it's all about deciding who you are gonna be. You feel me? Because a lot of times you're not gonna be able to determine how you can how you can prosper. You feel me? And mm. how you would say, a lot of people want, want to determine how you can prosper, but it's all about manifesting what you want. So if you believe in yourself, you know, you, yeah. you follow your heart desires and you believe and, and believe what you could accomplish, you'll be able to grow in any aspect of your life. That's how I would see it. Dang, that's dope, man, because it, it's easy. You know, it's super easy to see, um, you know, everything that's happening, you know, everything that you've gone through mm -hmm. and just, you know, get that hate in, you, in your heart and hate the world type shit, you know? Yeah. And it really takes a lot of strength to overcome stuff like that, to, mm -hmm. you know, say, you know, I know this this happened and, you know, it hurts, but I got to keep going type shit. I feel like sometimes people easily influence mm. by Talk to negativity about that. because, you know, why? 
people it's easy for people to do evil shit but it's hard for people to do good you feel me it's, it's hard true. for people to get up and say you know what i'm not gonna go outside and go rob somebody today or i'm not gonna go outside and go sell some drugs today mm. i want to go outside and do something that's more positive for myself like a lot of people don't want to work nine to fives i'm gonna be 100 yeah. percent. a lot that of people true. and i'm gonna say another thing 2020 told people how to be um entrepreneurs you exactly. feel me a people, lot of business <laughs> a lot of businesses came out you feel me 2020 told people how to be entrepreneurs how to invest in stocks how to motivate themselves to be better individuals you feel me that is invest true. in invest in yourself you feel me because exactly. at the end of the day that's all you really got you got to follow your dreams follow your aspirations and be the best you could be yeah you know? exactly i 100 percent agree with that like you said you know 2020 i saw so many people Kind of take that leap of faith and be like, nice. you know what, I'm going a, I'm to a start that business that I've been thinking of for years. Straight I'm going to do up. this and that. And, yeah. you know, it's maybe that's all we needed for some people like yeah. that. But, you know, I like that mentality. Um, and back to the point that you were talking about, it's easier to be bad than good. I feel like I completely agree with that. And that's because, yeah, you know, there's a lot of people out here that, you know, they criticize those that try to do good, that try yeah. to do good, you know. A lot of people being good is not is not the popular thing to do, mm -hmm. you know, and okay. sometimes you got to go against the grain mm -hmm. type shit because at the end of the day, you got to help those around you and yourself as well. And, and you know why? Because people take advantage of the good people. And what I what yeah. I started telling my sister that the is other true. day is just like I just dropped a freestyle on Instagram to Drake. Do not disturb. You know yes. I me. Mean? And my first line, on the, my first line of the song is called I'm too humble and better cocky. That's mm. how they love me, because at the end of the day, when you humble, people want to sit there and take advantage of you because they think that you're naive. They think that you're not going to be the person that says anything and you just don't know what's going Go on around them, yeah. you. But at the end of the day, that might just be how you are as a person. Mm. And sometimes other people have manipulative, vindictive personalities and yeah. they want to sit there and be the type of people they are. But that doesn't determine your reaction and how exactly. you react to life and how your perception uh, brings the karma that comes to you. So that's why I always outweigh the good with the bad. Some people want to be negative. Some people want to be positive. But... I you gotta know when. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. all about um, picking and choosing your battles. I exactly. I like that. I like that. That's what's up, man. Um, so, what really motivates you now to keep going with the music? I feel like more or less now, now that I lost my moms, lost my grandmoms, you feel me? I just have my family mm. and my hub behind me. You feel me? Shout out Four Green. Shout out my family. And shout out just, I just want to be able to help myself grow to be the person that I want to be. I see myself a super duper star yeah. and growing to, growing above and beyond my expectations you feel me and it's mm. all about i just see myself utilizing and growing my platforms to be the person that i want to become and that's a successful entrepreneur superstar whatever i decide and yeah. more importantly with this music shit, i know that anything i put my all into is gonna manifest greatness so that's what i'm gonna continue to do drop this fire drop this heat stay tuned for this next track that's coming out stay stay tuned for my official uh video release and after that we we, we taking off to the moon that's dope, man. That's and good I appreciate to hear that. having this interview and exactly. turning the fuck up with you. Bro. Hell yeah, thank bro. You, you know, thank you. Thank like, you for having me. You know, we had been talking about this for a while. Mm -hmm. You know, schedules didn't line up. You know, I had something and then, you know, you were able to do it and then you, you had something. So, you know, for us to finally link up, like we were talking about, we had, we're had we both busy dudes. You feel me? It was meant we're to both, happen. And we're I'm both busy dudes. Thank you. Thank yes, you. sir. Um, so what else can we expect moving forward from Guapo the Don? You know, not just in the music scene, yeah. just in general. Talk to me. About, what are you wearing right now? Oh, right Talk now, so that. right now I'm wearing the official tissue screw hybrid. This some shit that my sister came okay. up with. You feel me? It's a it's an underground fashion, you know, designer clothing brand. You could check it out. Go to screwhybrid.com. You feel me? Okay. It comes in all different assortment of colors, high qualities, different designs, all different patterns. Whatever you like, whether it's sweaters, I know it's coming up different type of seasons. Get your styles in. Check what you like out. Um, for the most part, um, she screw came out hybrid. with it. She came out with this. I would say probably back in 2019, probably about two, three years ago. And it was really just to, to motivate people to ask yourself, like, what makes you different? You feel me? Mm. Because a lot of people, if you ask a person, like, what makes you different? They don't really know. They just, you feel me? They be they like, get stumped with it. You could be like, oh, shit. Maybe because I'm light skinned, that makes me different. Or maybe because I'm short, that makes me different. Maybe because. Um, I'm wearing these type of kicks today that makes me different. But a lot of people are not gonna always be able to answer like, That's oh, true. what makes you different? So I feel like she did this more or less to teach people like what makes you different? And screw hybrid is what makes you different because you're mm. able to be innovative, you're able to be an entrepreneur, and you're able to grow from a different type of perspective because people from where I'm from don't, be don't believe 
that you could be an entrepreneur. They only believe you could probably be Same a drug route. dealer, oh, okay. or you could be a, a, a criminal, or you could work a nine to five. That's it. Which nobody want to do at yeah. the end of the day. So I'd rather Dang. be screw hybrid. So I, screw that's hybrid. why I'm screw. You know? yeah, that's a sub, man. Where could the people find the the collection? Is there a website? There's a yeah, Instagram? yeah. Everybody go to screwhybrid.com. Y'all could check out the Instagram screwhybrid.com. Um, y'all could go follow the CEO. Um, Lady Lilo right now, L I T T Y um L E L O and and check out the website too. It's international shipping, wherever y'all wanna go, check it out. Um check out my website, um Spotify. My bad, I said check out my website. Check out my Spotify though, check out my um album on all streaming platforms and turn the fuck up. Yes, let, sir. Let, let, I like that. Lit. I like that. Um so you know, we had this whole Rona situation. Hell Did it yeah. affect you creatively? I mean I feel like creatively, for the most part, it gave me more um, time to be able to put together a nice catalog or be able to at least give myself time um, to be able to utilize uh, my own processes on how I create my art. So sometimes I'll probably like to freestyle a lot, but because of the pandemic, you know, now I'm able yeah. to sit down and just write all day or be able to sit mm. down and just come up with different type of ideas to make when I'm at the studio. So I feel like I was able to take a lot of time during the pandemic to Get get the get the hang of just um, perfecting my craft mm. as far as writing because gotcha. I like to go up the head. Mm. Oh, so that's your song making process, just uh, freestyling here. I freestyle dope some beat. shit and I come up with a nice melody and then I start writing as I'm freestyling oh, along the way. Okay. Yeah. Damn, that's dope. That's yeah. dope. I wish I could freestyle, man. It's so badass. Like how sometimes people, you literally just put a beat and they just. What beat do you like? Put on a beat. That's how you <laughs> For sure, we got to man. Yeah. For, for sure. Um, so right now, are you currently independent, signed, or what's nah, the plan? With right that? now, I'm independent, and I got my own independent label, New Lit Records. You feel mm. me? I'm not really all into getting signed because I want to make sure it's a legitimate deal, and you're not being mm. taken advantage of. You feel me? Because I've had, yeah, you know, I've, <laughs> I've had some deals in the past that's tried to been thrown at me that's like that. So I'm really just trying to take advantage of making the most out of myself independently for now until I find something that I can help uplift my career and uplift the people around me for the most part. So that's really the direction that I'm going. That's it's just been it's just been tough trying to really sign to people that you don't really trust. You know, you mm. gotta you gotta really trust the direction that you're going. And I feel like the independent route right now for me is the route that I'm taking until I find something that's better. Damn, you know? that's crazy. That's so true because even bigger artists, you know, mm -hmm. huge artists, they yeah. still be stuck like, oh, my label doesn't let me do this. My yeah. label doesn't let me drop this song. My label doesn't let me collab with this person because that and this. Straight up. Um, so it takes a lot, you know, doing your own thing, doing your yeah. own thing for sure. Why do you think we haven't got, well, now we see it more, mm -hmm. but why do you think the labels are still such a huge influence? You know, they still get a lot of artists. You know, I feel like, under them. I, I feel like it's, it's just like any other big business. If you've been in the industry, but for such a long time, you the originators, you feel me? Mm. Just like in the elections, the people who just called the race for the elections, the association press, yeah. they became, they came into business in 1848. Wow. They've been calling the elections since 1848. And they not the same people who called the elections for the two, um, for the time in 2000 when George Bush, Bush brother, the, yeah. his brother had called the fake elections in Florida, Florida and, and the... George Bush, Bush you feel me? <laughs> yeah. But they not the same people, but they've been around the same time as the people who caught that race. Oh. But they business is more credible because, because of that of that one incident, you yeah. feel me? So that's just the difference. It's, I, I, I say that the the labels is around and they're going to be around forever, but they but with social media growing and just all of the different type of outlets to be able mm. to market yourself, that's what the that's what this that's what the labels are in competition with now. And that's why people are starting to utilize different things like United Masters trying to make their own exactly. apps trying to make their own um, promotion platforms because that's what's going to be able to help companies grow in the future. That's crazy to yeah. think about. That's 18 what? 18 yeah. something? Oh 1848. My. That's when the Ooh. association press came about. Straight that's up. Crazy and they're the like ones that. who caught the election. Joe Biden just won. Yeah, man. You know? Joe Biden. <laughs> but, Joe Biden won, y'all. You know, we're not here to get into politics. Yeah, right? we're, we're here to talk about my boy Guapo the Don. That's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. That's what's up. Damn, I didn't even know that. That's, that's straight truth right there because like you said the establishment and just you know having that machine behind them yeah. is what really separates yeah. them and be and, like and, and it's I'm just be able to do this think about motown records you feel me and think about different labels like def jam who who pick up artists 
like Jay Z, who become the owners and CEOs and create now their own, own title rock, and rock nation labels and distributors and different platforms. Exactly. So it's just like it's it's at the end of the day, it's all about finding the best marketing platform, finding the best artists to distribute through, and and all different artists are gonna be able to grow as long as you're able to market yourself and brand yourself efficiently. So that's what's important. Be be who you want to be. And be somebody who's outstanding. Don't be somebody who's just regular because it ain't gonna work. Dang, that's that's facts work. right there. You know I mean? Dropping jams out here. Strat. Exactly. <laughs> facts, facts. <laughs> so right now, um, with everything going on, and once you know we get back to mm -hmm. back to business, everything's back to normal. Hopefully, it's next year or the year after that. You know, yeah. we don't know exactly. Um, is touring something that you want to pursue as well? So my my next goal right now, my unks. You feel me? His name Yells Feeve. He just dropped a song. It's called Run Ricky, Run Ricky. Go stream it on YouTube right now. It's going crazy. You feel me? Go follow him on Instagram, White Rabbit um, Feeve. Well, follow me on Instagram and you can see it. His shit is going up right now. Mm. So my plan is right now, we're yeah. going to get Unks touring. You feel me? Because right now, we New Lit Records, we independent. So you feel yeah. me? We're going to get Unks touring. He going viral right now with the Run Ricky. And then I'm choosing to drop this next single, which is the drilling and drumming, dumping and running, you know? Yeah. And after I do that, that's when the tours is gonna start. So I'm mm, saying yeah, I, I, I'm saying in the next I'm saying in the next month, by the but probably by the beginning of January, I'm willing to start maneuvering around. But um I'm willing to start opening up for my unks too. It's about to yeah. be crazy. Yo, just watch out, child. Stay tuned. It's about to go up. Y'all yeah, might crazy. be seen. Go up at the Don performing. Nah, it's about to go up, y'all. Yes, it's about sir. to go up. We about to be city to city, y'all. Y'all yeah. might have to. Y'all might get a fucking Instagram live video. Shit, <laughs> you know? I might just. I might open Hit up my OnlyFans for these bitches. <laughs> 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 nah. Right, let me That's chill. crazy. Uh, I was gonna tell you. So, what are three cities? What would you say? Three cities anywhere in the world that you would love to perform at? I would say you feel me. I'm. I'm Puerto Rican, so I want to go to PR. I mm. haven't got an opportunity to go yet, but I want to mm. perform in Puerto Rico. I want to perform somewhere in probably Italy. And besides Italy, I would say Miami. You feel me? Like those Miami, are, I, I'm Puerto not really, Rico. I ain't trying to go out of states with Corona and everything else going <laughs> yeah. on, but I like Italy just because it got that type of vibe. You feel me? I want to go cop some designer shit or something like okay. that. You feel me? I like that. That's right. dope. That's dope. That's dope. But um, you said you're Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. What is your thoughts with this whole Latin trap movement? What is was your thoughts on that? Because For even me, though I you don't fuck with Anwell, he fuck with Six Nine. I'm telling <laughs> y'all, don't believe the cap. He fuck with Six Nine. He made that song Yaya yeah, yeah, for Six Nine. It's the truth. You feel me? Yeah. Only only artist I really fuck with and I don't really fuck with because he be on some gay shit is Bad Bunny. You feel mm -hmm. me? If he wasn't on that extra mook shit. With the paying his nails, along with what's the boy had to do name? Which one? Um, Nicky Jam. If he wasn't oh, okay. with Nicky Jam doing all of that, I would just say the Latin trap vibe. I would say it goes to. Besides that, the Don Omar and Thago Calderon and all of them. But yeah. I only like really Bad Bunny. I probably say Osuna sometimes, but sometimes, nah. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. I get you. Just I get bad you. Bad Bunny and the other and they, guy. All of them. Not they, Jay Balvin. Jay Balvin kinda... is not it, y'all. <laughs> not him. Why is that? I don't really like Jay Balvin. He's a very creative artist, but I feel like it's not he, something he you... really over. He's like the Kanye West of Spanish people. I promise mm. you, he is the Kanye West of Spanish people. Um, I, Jay I can Balvin, see that. I can because see that. he you he's very smart, but he yeah. utilizes every single aspect of the market. Yeah, to try to expand his music career instead of just being a talented artist. Like one thing I respect about Bad Bunny, and that's why I say he's like the leader of Latin trap, is because yeah. he didn't have to sit there and try to act like a trap person oh, to okay. be a trap artist. He was he able to wear thing. these little mooks, these little yeah. gay shits, and still be respected amongst his people because he yeah. didn't he didn't want to. It was the perception part of it. You feel me? But people like Ah Well, they not really. The people yeah. that they claim to be. Mm, okay. That's the difference okay. to me. Okay. And I can see that for sure. Bad Bunny is is the leader of, of the Latin trap yeah. for sure. Um and like you said, he lives his truth. You know, mm -hmm. he Straight just up. he's just not trying to be the biggest gangster because yeah. that's not him. You know, that's not yeah. him. And I could see that for sure. Will we ever get a full, you know, uh, Spanish song? If I 
the first time I did Spanish, the any for any time I did a Spanish song, it was, it was with one, one of my homies. His name is Ricky B. Everybody go follow him on all streaming platforms. Ricky B, super lit, super dope, um, reggaeton artist from Mexico. You feel me? I never really wanted to get in touch with the reggaeton side because I don't really speak Spanish mm. that fluently. Yeah. But if I was a, I speak Spanglish, y'all. You feel me? I'm Boricua. <laughs> we different. But you feel me? I never really was able to get in touch with that side so much to the point where I wanted to create music with it. Yeah. But if I get on my Selena shit, you know, in the future maybe, I might just be able to come up with something. Okay, you know? okay. I fucks with that. Fucks with that. It's not like you're claiming you're the best of yeah, the best yeah, type nah, shit. Nah, yeah. nah, nah. Okay, you live your truth as well. Facts. Yes, sir. So, pretty much right now, you know, there's a lot of people buzzing here and there. You've mm -hmm. named a couple. What are three big artists that once you're you're up there like that, you want to make songs with? I'm. I'm. Now I was just talking about this the other day. I'm making a song with Rod Wave. You feel me? I'm making mm. a song with J.I. The I don't know if y'all know about J.I., but J.I. is a dope artist from yeah. um, New York as well. His name J.I. the Prince of New York. He got a song called Man, Own Shit. I, was, I saw his IG, bro. I said, I want those chains, dude. The, the ones he got the G-Star management, yeah. big pieces hanging out. Shout out that, that boy J.I., you feel me? Um, J.I., the superstar. And I was I would say Ride Wave, J.I., and I, and I also take, let me see. I take little TJ, you feel little me? Little TJ. TJ is lit, you feel me? I like little TJ a lot. That's dope. That's crazy. Yeah. And um, Jay, I for sure, I was barely got, yeah. I barely got put on like a month and a half ago. Yeah, he a definitely a, a lit artist out there. He from, uh, he from New York City too, I think, if I'm not mistaken. He yeah. A Puerto Rican artist from out there as well. Do you see the, the resem or the connection between y'all? Um, for the most part, I would say that, and, and some of the similar flows and some of the different type of um, melodic melodies. Um, and just the different type of characteristics and traits that mm -hmm. we bring to the industry is just yeah. that you don't get to see a lot of artists that are young and Puerto Rican coming out into the New York scene. You more used to seeing, um, you know, the younger crowd. Yeah. That's a little bit different. So I think that is good that people like J.R. is coming out now because it dope. opens up that um, environment. It opens up that marketing brand for people like myself as well. That's mm -hmm. dope. And I see, I see Loki like the connection because the way you guys carry mm -hmm. yourselves, yeah. the way that. You could say kind of like the the Puerto Rican New York confidence type shit. Straight up, straight up. Straight you always got to be cocky, but you got to be confident at the same time. Uh, like, it's not really called cockiness; it's just being confident. You know? Exactly, exactly. So yeah. I see that whenever I saw his his music and his interviews and mm -hmm. stuff like that, I was yeah. like, man, he's kind of like Guapo the Don over here yeah. with the that the way you carry yourself. Straight type up, shit. straight up, Guapo the Don, bitch on my arm, new lit record. Look good, feel good, smell good. Get to the fucking bag, y'all. Shout out, welcome to the radio, y'all. We super duper lit at the spot right yes, now. Yes, sir, baby. All right, so, you know, I want to showcase one more song for the people. Do you want to uh, put a beat or do you want to showcase a song from the, the project? or what's... Just pick a beat for me right now, y'all. I'm going to give y'all some quick freestyle bars right now off the Ooh, fucking man. top of this dome ski, you feel me? And I'm putting it on the gram right now. Yeah. Going viral at the spot. Hey. Yeah. Whoa. She like the way that I dance. Whoa. She like the way that I dance. She like the way that I woo. Shout out the crew. You know I'm lit. Sipping my do. Holding my bitches, they lit. You know that we live. She busted up, but she got thick thighs. I'm smoking all the weed. I got red eyes. All of my team get paid. All of this cash, I'm taking it to the grave. Shout out my team. We make a screw hybrid. All of my niggas, we count up racks. All of my team, we trap out the trap. Diamonds on me, don't know how to act. If niggas talk shit, fuck around and get slapped. All of my niggas, we bringing out crack. All of my team, trapped out, don't know what they saying. All of my niggas getting paid. Niggas talk a lot of shit, nigga, welcome to the rodeo today. Yeah. All my niggas really wildin' out, already know what we about. All my niggas really trapped up and I'm trapped out. Taking cash with me, getting paid, all this money on me, feeling hella amazed. Pop the pills and I'm in a daze, all these bitches gonna give me good brain. I told that bitch, bust it open. Now I got the whole deep throwing. All hey. my niggas getting on the wave. I told that bitch that I got the pain. I'm smoking <laughs> gas, that's the Mary Jane. Hope my niggas getting elevated. I bust your bitch open, penetrated. You know I'm smoking gas, hesitating. Yeah, you know I'm really, really rolling. All these bitches deep throating. I need me a maid back. I might pull up in a rave, ghosting. All my niggas really provoking. Cause we shooters and we pulling up hosters. I fuck your bitch and she tapped out. I put the dick in the bottom of her mouth. All of my niggas, we wildin' out. And I said the same shit once again. But I don't give a fuck. I'm not into making friends. I need the Benjamins. All of my team, wow. I got a whole different style. She busted open, she opened her mouth. All of these bitches know what I'm about. I'm about to go and get all of this guap. I told that bitch, give me top. I need to get up the money. I told that bitch with the money. I told that bitch with the cash. 
She bout to throw that ass, she shaking, she busting, she throwing it back. Me and my oh. niggas, we thumbing through racks. And niggas want war, then we come to the trap. We busting and shooting the thumb through the door. Niggas is pussy, I know that they roll. Niggas is hosing on, you know I'm a score. Coming through, knocking these niggas out. I pull it up, you know I'm a score. Hold on my team, we yeah. going on tour. Shout out, welcome to the rodeo. Yeah. Shout out my nigga, be riggy. You know we run in the city, my bitches be pretty, I'm rubbing her titties And these bitches, Woo. they all like to act a ditty. And I ain't with these hoes who act fake I put the dick all in her face I took that bitch how it tastes I took that bitch amazing grace <laughs> You know I'm lifting, I'm getting lit I took that bitch, she got a strip If she wanna come and get a taste She got a kiss on my dick I told these bitches they wild, but she gotta do what I say Cause if she not, she gotta get out the spot I make the bitch give me top I treat her like baby boot tissue <laughs> Yo, man, oh, little, little man, man That's crazy little, man, Run me a different one right quick one more time just in one case one more time let's get it bro give me a different one more i got you let me let me see welcome to the rodeo behind the scenes guapo to die your bitch yeah. on my arm rest in peace king von hey rest in peace king von hey hey whoa I'm in the trap, count a hundred stacks. Niggas talking shit, they getting whack. I'm selling crack. Me, my niggas don't know how to act. These niggas pussy, and I know these niggas fraud. I'm busting at these niggas, shooting out the car. I'm on my, on my, I'm on my wild shit. Niggas don't know how to act. Fuck around, niggas get fucked around. Laid on their back, talk a lot of shit, but they don't know what they about. Niggas pulling up, you already know we acting out. Hey, shout out, welcome to the rodeo, we smashing. I hop out of the whip and you know that we dashing. I got a whole lot of pounds and we in the back. Me and my team, we known the trap and we gon' count these racks. Hey, I made a whole lot of flips. I make that bitch do a trick. She busting it open, do splits. And all of my team gon' be rich. Hey, I'm taking all of this money with me and I'm feeling so amazed. Smoking all of that good gas, that's the dank. I'm taking all this money to the bank. I treat these bitches like hoes. I put that bitch on the pole. I make these hoes pay the toll. Hey, I'm lifted, I'm tripping, I'm rolling off Addies, I'm dipping. I put that bitch through the wire. I got the little hoe limping. Hey, I treat these hoes like a simp. I make that hoe do a trick on a dick. I treat these hoes like a trick. These hoes gonna bring me tips. Hey, she gonna bring me the pay. She outside all day. I make that bitch work the trap. She bringing the money right back. Me and my niggas be running through racks. I'm fucking it up and I make it right back. Hey, call up my nigga and welcome to the rodeo. We gonna yeah. get racks. Hey. Chillin' with my niggas, we get money every day I know these niggas gon' hate, but they won't say it to my face yep. All this money that I'm counting, you can never take away I know these pussy niggas hatin', but they won't say it in my face That's facts. These niggas, they hoes and they is pussies I'm countin' up this cash and I treat them like a rookie Ay, These niggas pussy, and they can never come book me I treat these niggas like rookies I'm countin' up smoke a cookie Ooh. I'm smoking gas out the backwood and I'm lit She gon' bust it open while she doin' tricks Ay. Switching up the beat and get me lit. Hey, I'm yeah. gonna run through these fucking trips. Hey, damn boy. Nah, little, you know, we got bars all day. I'm, I want to get one good time where I ain't tripping. Tripping and dipping this. Hey, shout out, welcome to the rodeo, y'all. Yeah. Guapo the Don. Guapo the Don, your bitch on my arm. New lit rackets. Look good, feel good, smell good to the back. Hey, whoa. Hey, viral. Movie, I put the little bitch in a jacuzzi. She busted open, she look like a smoothie. All of these bitches, they getting some ruthies. Hey, hey, I cut the cash and I'm looting. All of these niggas, they getting intruding. All of these bitches, they get tried like hoes. I'm smoking this gas, and you know that's the dro. Hey, hey, I'm chilling outside. Welcome to the rodeo. Yeah. Travis Scott said, Welcome to Astro. Me and my niggas, we lit and we wildin'. She busted open, she wildin'. Yeah. Me and my team getting paid, and all of this money got me in the days. Woo. I'm fucking up, but you know that I'ma always bounce back. I like to kill every track. I'm making this money, I'm running through racks. Hey, niggas gonna say what they say. Niggas talk all of that shit, but I pull up empty the clip in they face. Hey, I gotta switch up the flow. I'm treating all of these bitches like hoes. All of this money it grow. I'm like the smoke on the Optimo. Hey, I got a whole lot of word plays. All of this dough got me feeling like I'm feeling too lit. I'm feeling like I'm smacked. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm killing all of these tracks. I gotta spill all these facts. Niggas get laid on their back. Niggas be talking all of that shit, but niggas be pussy don't know how to act. Whoa. All right, cut that one right there. That shit was Damn, not it, for boy. Me. That's I crazy. Know, man, this crazy. Shout Three out to the back to back to right back, bro. Yes, wow. sir. Three songs already, bro. Back Three songs to back in, to back. You feel me? I'm giving y'all a little freestyle taste. You feel me? Now I ran this all off the squizzy. That's crazy, all off the bro. That had off the cranium, y'all. That's all facts, dope. no cap, though. Let's go. 
Yes, sir. That's dope, man. You know, lots of artists, like like we were talking off camera, lots of artists, they'll be like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll freestyle something. But, you know, once the camera's on, it's they different. They don't want to do it, you feel me? And I That's ain't the crazy. type of person that I ain't no, I ain't no eight-mile artist. You the feel real me? This thing. is not Eminem. I'm yeah. not choking, you feel me? Even if I don't got no bars, I'm going to make nothing out of something. That's where I'm from, Brooklyn. We turn nothing into something, and we coming strong all 2020. 2021, watch out. New Lit Records, we taking over shit. Shout out Welcome to the Rodeo. Yes, sir. Shout out my boy, Riggy B. Shout out my son, Yell Sveep. Shout out Screw Hobbit. Shout out everybody that's working to become better people and to grow. Stay positive. Stay optimistic. Get to this bag, y'all. Hell yeah. Facts. That's facts right there. That's facts right there. I like that. So what are some of the lessons you've learned being in the rap game right now? I feel like more lessons. I, I feel like you can't sell yourself short. Mm -hmm. And never sell yourself for less. You feel me? I, I always kn knew in this rap industry that I can't sell myself for less and I can't sell myself short. You feel mm -hmm. me? So I feel like if you think that you have an opportunity in front of you that you might want to take, but you don't know if it's what's best for you, yeah, then it's not really what's best for you. You feel me? If you ever have to think about taking the opportunity, then it's not really meant for you. You feel me? You, you're you going to always want to be able to say, like, this is my go-to thing, and this is what I'm sure of doing. Yeah. So and any decision you make, make sure that, you feel me, it's something that you truly dedicated to and, and something that you truly genuinely want to do from the bottom of your heart. That's what I would That's say. That's dope, man. Yeah. That's so true because, like you said earlier, you had labels mm. throw you some some, yeah. some deals out here. But you saw them, and you're like, nah, that's yeah, not what exactly. I want. Okay, so you just, you got to still be patient because, exactly. like you talked about, it's hard coming from, from where you came from. Mm -hmm. And once you get, you know, a little money thrown at you, you're like, mm -hmm. fuck, man, should I just take it exactly. help out the fam? Or I know that, you know, I'm not really, you know, I could get more from this. You know, exactly. I could get more from this. That's that's dope, man. I feel like it's all about knowing your value as well. Like, you got to know what you're worth. Yeah. And, and people going to always going to... People are gonna always see the value in you that you don't see in yourself, mm. and that's why people are always gonna be willing to invest in you. But you yeah. just gotta always evaluate yourself as as knowing that in the future you're gonna be worth something, and now you're worth something. So it's about making the making the most of your opportunities, you know. I and like I, that. I, I never really saw myself as somebody who could sell themselves short, and I, I suggest any other artist don't do that. Got you. you know what I mean? That's what's up, man. What really separates you from every other artist? I feel like what what separates me from any other artist you feel me is just that I'm gonna be straight 100 with you and I'm gonna be more genuine and upfront because of course me coming from the the background and the lifestyle that I come from we yeah. all we we already know what it's like to be at the bottom mm. so all we doing is growing to the top it's nothing yeah. else that can bring us to the bottom you already so, there exactly, you already been there you feel me we already there yeah. been there so it's like no going the opposite direction it's only going up you feel me so it's like somebody like me i'm only going to the top you feel me that's how i see it so the bigger that you get you know the more that you know people are gonna fuck with your music and like yeah. you but also you will get that hate as well yeah. how do you how are you as a person that deals with hate or with haters you know for the most part i feel like in, in, in any type of business and any type of um if you popular if you are artist, a musician, a business, yeah. a brand, if you something that's popular, people are gonna always have their opinions. And I feel yeah. like hate is just another opinion and it's just up to you to choose to react to it in the way that you see mm. it. So I feel like my biggest thing is that I don't react to negativity. Okay. I embrace it, you feel me? I'll sit there and say, you know what? I appreciate the feedback. I'll take it as constructive criticism. But All going right. forward, I don't see myself as somebody that could give you a give you a feedback back. Exactly. Like, you know, I don't go back and forth with people. I, I just sit there and say, all right, that's a bet. You know, thank you. I appreciate it. That's but I'm dope, not man. no, I ain't no hating ass nigga. I <laughs> yeah. Back you doing your own nobody. thing to even exactly. worry about it. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Straight I up. like that. Um, So where do you see yourself five years, five years from now? Five years from now, you feel me? I see myself probably, you know, I'm not going to say probably. I see myself as the CEO okay. of New Live Records, you feel me? Yep. Which I am right now. But, you know, I see myself having multiple artists under me, mm -hmm. which includes myself and yeah. another few. And I would say another one or two artists. But um, shout out Yells Fever. He's a super dope artist coming out right now out of Brooklyn, New York. Go check out his new single, um, Run Ricky, Run Ricky. Um, check out Screw Hybrid. I see myself as the co-founder of the Screw, Screw Hybrid because I'm a real big investor. I love this business, you yeah. feel me? I think it's a dope brand, and it's definitely what makes you different. You always have to stand behind what you believe in. And I always exactly. tell people that, you know, what what makes businesses different from one another is is actually standing out as an actual brand. Mm. Because people, 
people sometimes say, oh, I have a business, right? And then you yeah. ask them, okay, what's your business? And then they don't really know how to explain it or they don't really know how to define it. Mm. You know, when you say um, um, screw hybrid, it's like, it's what makes you different. You feel me? Because you able to sit there and say like, I saw mad people wearing screw hybrid. You feel me? Mm. Or I saw mad people coming to welcome to the rodeo. You exactly. feel me? So it's all about building that brand and building that credibility and growing from there. So that's how I see it. What? You know? Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. That's, I, I never thought about that, but that's so true because brand recognition is, is key. You know, mm -hmm. there's weight to that brand that you you represent. Straight you up. know, there's the re reputation that it has as well, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I, I like that. And, uh, you know, talking about, you know, five years from now, mm -hmm. but whenever it's all said and done. Yeah. I'm How do you want? I'm gonna be rich uh, in the next five years. I'm letting that be known. I ain't really answered the question I want, but I'm gonna be rich uh, Yes, sir. That's set. So, you know, we were talking about five years, but once it's all said and done, mm -hmm. and you're, you know, you're all chilling in your house and everything, mm -hmm. how do you want Guapo the Don to be remembered as? I just want people to remember me as somebody who was given and always willing to give back, somebody who was positive uh, and optimistic and willing to help people grow and become better people because mm -hmm. it's all about uplifting people. And and one thing that I do know, it's all about having integrity. You feel me? Because it's, it's easy. Like I'm going back to say, it's easy to be negative, but it's hard to be good because not everybody's gonna support your dreams. Not everybody's gonna support your ambitions, and not everybody sees life the way that you see life. You yep. feel me? People gonna be, um, people will have different type of psychotic disorders, multiple multiple personality disorders. Yeah. At the end of the day, people not gonna always see shit the way you do. But stay true to yourself. You feel mm. me? And uplift others. And people gonna remember me as a legend, as a warrior, a person who stood true to his friends, his family, and the people who did business with him. Because that's what it's about. It's all about gaining that credibility, growing, investing, and becoming a wealthy individual. Like that's I like life. that. I like that. Bro, that's what's shit. up, man. The whole foundation, and then just you know, mm -hmm. prospering and literally building the generational wealth for your, for my your whole family, your whole fam, right there, friends and everybody. That's Straight what's up. up, man. So uh, talk to me a little bit about New Lit Records. Um, right now, what artists do you have under, or you know, what's the, what's the whole yeah. main goal with New Lit so Records? So with, with New Lit Records, when I first began the label, you feel me? Mm -hmm. It was really strictly just a main um, business for me to pr um, promote my own music, you feel mm -hmm. me? So I was my own independent label, and I was my own independent artist, artist as well. It, yeah. So I became a CEO, and I became an artist as well. And I also decided to go... Uh, I wanted to go towards a reggaeton route, yeah. you feel me? So I did recruit artists like Riggy B yeah. and um, Candela Music and different. Yeah. And Candela Music was another yeah. um, record label that I worked with that was reggaeton. Mm. But unfortunately, they wasn't able to continue on yeah. doing what they was doing. So what I decided was just focusing on taking more of the street urban vibe, mm. which what is you where know. I originally come from. You exactly. feel me? Coming from Brooklyn, New York. And focusing more on that aspect because that's the type of music that I really... What you know, you know, grow yeah. up, growing up in Brooklyn, the, yeah. the street yeah, urban so, music. Like, for the most part, I felt like I felt like I wanted to get more back in touch with my roots and where I was coming from. So, originally, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, Four Green Projects, you feel me? So, we recruited a, fru a few artists from that Brooklyn area, okay. from the same area that I'm from, yeah. which is an artist that's Yells Fever. He's coming out. <laughs> he just he just released his um streaming platform. Yeah. He just released a song on all streaming platforms. It's called Run Ricky Run. Run Ricky I want y'all to go check that out. It's on YouTube right now. I got about 50,000, 60,000 views. Go Ooh, look man. it up right now. It's super duper lit. I'm telling y'all, dope ass artists. But New Lit Records, we come, we, we, a, we a record label that's built around helping other artists grow artists. And, and helping other artists see their full potential. It's not mm -hmm. always, I want people to understand that it's not always about money, you feel me? Yeah. It's about creating a brand and creating a platform to grow off of to create that generational wealth that we speaking of, you feel me? Exactly. Because you always, have to, you, have, you always have to have a foundation to grow off of. And that's what I wanted to do with New The Records. I wanted to help people to see that like, yo, if a kid from New York, Brooklyn, yeah. projects could come and turn into a, a, a uplifting artist who's helping other people to grow and motivate themselves and, and has lit themselves, then that, that'll help other people to see like, yo, I could do it. So it's all mm -hmm. about creating That's that role right model and, and, and creating that um, optimistic future for other people to see like, this is what I could do. I like that, you I know? like that. But and I only uh, have one artist right now, Yale's Fever. Yale's Fever, yeah. with blowing up with uh, Run Ricky Run, right? Yeah. Got you, got you, that's what's up, man. So uh, before we head out, anything you wanna let the people know before we go? 
Nah, um, for the most part, I just want everybody out there to know, you feel me? Guapo to die, your bitch on my arm, New Day <laughs> Records, is a person that's very optimistic, very positive, yeah. and just very focused on helping other people to see the good things in life. But also, I want y'all to know this fucking music is lit. It's very emotional content that's going to help you to see that, yo, you're not the only one going through the shit that you're going through, mm. or you're not the only one experiencing the things you're experiencing. We all humans. We all have those different type of emotions that help you to see that. All right, this is my time to listen in and really check in the fucking music and say, all right, I like this shit. So go check out my music, Guapo the Dying, Bitch on My Arm, all streaming platforms, new the records, Angels in the Trap just dropped. Yeah. Go check out Right Timing. I also just dropped that last year, you feel me? So that shit was lit too. Yep. Go tell me how you like that. I like that I'm the plug track. Shit mm -hmm. is super fire. Um, but for the most part, you can follow me on Instagram at BK Guapo the Don, your bitch on my arm. Just BK Guapo the Don, though. Um, follow me on TikTok, Positive Christian, you feel me? And any other any other direction y'all want, just hit me up, you feel me? I'm here. I, and I'm here to take over 2020. And I want to say thank you for having me. Yes, sir. And I for appreciate sure. it a lot. Shout thank out, welcome you. to the rodeo, you feel me? Thank you for the interview, for sure. 100. All right, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, share, hit that notification bell, get notified whenever we drop new content. Stay safe out here. We out. Bow.